How you doing? <laughs> Good to see ya. Uh, so uh, I'll let you guys know right off the bat, I wear hearing aids. I got them in both ears. Uh, they are fake. I got them for comedy. And uh, <laughs> I was running low on material, so... Um, no, they're, uh, they're real. I've had them since I was four years old. I'm deaf, man. Uh, I'm, I'm hard of hearing. I'm not full deaf, of course. I've had full-on deaf people get mad at me for calling myself deaf. They've come up to me after shows. They're like, you're not deaf. You're hard of hearing. We're deaf. You're not. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't want no trouble here, you know. I'm, I'm just a couple dead batteries away from being on your team, okay? Come on. Come on. We gotta stick together. I didn't realize. I didn't realize there's like a beef between the deaf and hard of hearing community. A quiet beef, but uh, I like to mention it at the beginning of a show that I wear a hearing aids because if I don't, I can tell people, some people see them and they're distracted and it takes away from my other jokes. I'll be trying to tell a joke about like my crotch or something, you know? And I can see people are looking at my hearing aids. I'm like, guys, come on, my crotch is down here, okay? <laughs> Show a little respect. <laughs> Trying to get into shape. I'm eating better in 2020. It's been good. I've gotten into more exercise, weird exercises. I'm trying to take up speed walking. Uh, <laughs> For real, I'm getting into it. It's a weird motion, man. I love speed walking. Uh, I used to hate on, for real, I'm doing it around the neighborhood. I look like a weirdo, but I don't like running. It hurts. So I was like, maybe speed walking's a ticket. Speed walking is a great sport because it's the only sport where if you push it too hard, it turns into another sport, you know? <laughs> so, you gotta be careful. You gotta, every other sport, you're trying to push it 110% speed walking, you cap it at 99. You don't go too hard. <laughs> Now you're jogging, you know what I mean? I'm cutting down on weed. I haven't smoked since the beginning of the year, so 100 days sober, and uh, it, uh, I was getting tired of the dispensaries. It's too easy to get weed now. Completely legal, I miss the good old days, you know, when I had to go meet some random dude, and uh, you know what I mean? I got high on the fear. That's what I was getting high on. Had to get into the passenger seat of his 97 Pontiac Sunfire. <laughs> I didn't know who the hell this guy was. I, I knew there was a 50-50 chance I was gonna be getting oregano off this son of a gun, you know? <laughs> now you go into these dispensaries, it's too like, it's like an Apple store. It's all streamlined and shit. They're still asking me medicinal questions, even though it's legal for recreational reasons. They're still like, so what, do you, what kind of a strain are you looking for? Are you looking for something that helps with anxiety or are you having muscle pain? I'm like, yeah, I've really been dealing with this ailment lately where uh, I'm, I'm not as high as I'd like to be. <laughs> and, uh, it's really been bothering me.